Today's episode include the Polaris Dawn Crew visiting SpaceX headquarters and the FA delaying SpaceX. Hello guys, welcome to the video and welcome to Space Expense, the channel where we don't miss a tweet about the space flight industry. As usual, there has been a lot in this past few weeks, so let's dive right in. So we start today's episode from Polaris. The Polaris Dawn crew visited the suit lab at SpaceX headquarters this week to see progress on the new SpaceX extravehicular activity EVA spacesuit, which are upgrades of the current intravehicular IVA suits. So here we see the crew of the Polaris Dawn mission at SpaceX headquarters to check up on the new upgraded version of their spacesuit so i hope everything goes on well with the suits for this mission to be a success and also from starship gazer white bay now so here we can see the high bay next to the white bay now this white bay is making the high bay look like a little child look at the size of this white bay i mean this is massive compared to the high bay it is dwarfing the high bay making it look very very small so i'm very certain in no time we will see um it coming to a conclusion and also from the faa we can see the faa continues its programmatic environmental assessment for the proposed spaces starship slash super heavy project in boca chica texas the new target date for issuing the final pea is march 28 so does it also from the faa delaying spacex delaying the orbital launch as we are all expecting so we are just crossing our fingers so here we can see the um, the, the letter from space from sorry from the faa the faa is announcing that the new target date to complete its environmental review of the spaces starship starship are heavy um, it's now March 28th, so that's it right there. We hope everything goes on well. And also from Kelvin Randolph, S SN22 leaving SN21 sitting in the ring yard and heading into the high bay. So here we can see um, SN21 and SN22. As of now, I am very certain that SN21 has already received its nose cone. So getting ready to receive its aft flap so that's it right there for sn21 and sn22 i am very certain that sn21 is fully stuck maybe left with the aft flap being um installed maybe by now as of recording this episode so here we see 21 and 22 in very close proximity be amazing if you took a second to subscribe to the channel like the video and share it to friends so that you do not miss any of our future videos because we keep updating the space fans of every event that goes on in the space flight industry and here we saw a video of sn20 being distacked from the bh4 booster so that's it right there i think this was amazing just take a look at that the orbital the the integration tower in action taking off sn20 and setting it down and also from david willis so by march 28th it is extremely likely that sls will have finished its wet dress rehearsal and be back inside the vab preparing for roll out for lunch so i really doubt starship will be so let's see what happens